so I hope everything is recording right. Yo, what's up guys, home, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can boost your FPS in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7, especially on a low-end PC, or let's say this video is like more beneficial for people with a low RAM amount. Let's say you're like in between like four to eight gigs of RAM, then this video is definitely gonna help you out. So please make sure to watch the whole entire thing. I'm gonna explain everything step by step and everything is super important. And if you guys wanna support my work, maybe consider to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would also help me out so, so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And since lately so many people recommended me to try out Razer Cortex, I finally did it and I have to say this program is actually really good. And what it pretty much does is it does end all the processes which are unnecessarily on your Windows PC to save up some RAM, some processor capacity and just overall boost your FPS. And yeah, I'm just going to show you real quick here how you can get it, how to set it up properly and talk about all the features. And obviously guys, what you have to do in the first place is just simply go onto their main website, um, which I'm going to also link in the description and just here press on this download now button. And after you successfully downloaded the program, we're just going to drag it onto our desktop. So yeah guys, and after we successfully downloaded the Razer Cortex installer, just simply double click on it and this new installation window here should pop up where we can choose now if we want to simply only install Razer Cortex, which is the game boost that we obviously want here, or also Razer Synapse, which is like for all the RGB settings and DPI settings of any Razer product. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go here for Razer Cortex, obviously just check this one and hit install. I'm obviously not gonna do it since I already installed it here on my PC. And yeah, now I'm going to show you the best settings for Razer Cortex. Okay guys, and this is how your Razer Cortex should look on stock settings. You're gonna be here straight up in the game library. And if you don't have Fortnite in here or the game you wanna actually boost your FPS on, I mean this pretty much works for any other game as well. Uh, just simply hit the rescan here for games this feature you can just simply like rescan here and yeah it's gonna search for your pc you know for all the games you played before and yeah now we see that we have fortnite here so everything is fine and we're just gonna click here on boost now because this is where the magic happens and as you can see we got 22 items to be boosted which is really good already uh, we got tons of stuff here we can optimize and we're just gonna look here for specials in the first place because as you can see we have tons of features here which are super useful first of all we have enable cpu core make cpu resources focus on gaming processes efficiently super nice guys gonna boost our fps immense disable cpu sleep mode utilize all cpu cores to make sure that the cpu works at 100 percent performance also super nice um turn off automatic updates this is like for windows updates in the background maybe some of you already experienced this you were just like playing and yeah you just tap out of your game and windows is literally screaming at you yo bro there's a new update and stuff like that you know just prevent that one and this is now where it gets a little bit tricky guys if you see explorer.exe this pretty much features all of the Windows built-in programs. So we get as well the Game Booster, which can actually reduce your latency a lot. And if we put the check here, it's also gonna disable all the Windows modes. So you have to try it out for yourself what works the best. If actually um, Razer Cortex settings are better or everything you before tweaked on your Windows, guys. Yeah, something like the game mode, you know, this is built in um, to reduce latency and you have to check does this one give you less input delay or actually the built in one because it always depends on your PC. It's not like working straight up for every PC exactly the same way. So try it out maybe with or without and yeah, just compare uh, what you get as results. Next up, we also have enable game power resolution, change your power settings to high performance. This one, I also wouldn't recommend you to put a check here since I already showed you how to get the ultimate performance mode, which is better than the high performance one, obviously. So we're not gonna check this one here. Then we next up got clear clipboard, um, clear unused clipboard. Yeah, I mean, this is self-explanatory. Then we also have clean RAM, optimize memory usage to increase available physical memory. And I'm not gonna go too in depth how RAM works, but pretty much your um, Windows is always like saving data on your RAM stick and if your RAM stick is like filled up with too many data until you restart it next time you know like after each restart this gets like cleaned and if it's like too filled up you have less available physical memory for games which is gonna slow it down um, decrease your FPS and all that stuff so this is also a really cool feature and next up we also got launch game on desktop mode provides maximum processing power for gameplay without interruptions this is also super important guys and yeah, I would recommend you to just simply copy all my settings here one by one. I'm just gonna go through them here real quick again. Yeah, you can see everything. And yeah, then we're pretty much done here with this first section. Next up under processes, this is also super cool guys. We can see exactly how much memory usage each program has right now here in the background. And if you see something which has maybe like a little bit too much, 
I don't know, maybe like um, Nvidia share you right now, which I'm not using at all. Just simply um, check these here and they're gonna get deactivated over the time you're starting a game. And after you um, pretty much close that game again, which would be Fortnite in our case here, um, it's again gonna relaunch these programs. So you're not missing out on anything. OBS right now, as you can see, takes up 186 megabytes of RAM. And um, let's say I have this running in the background or I have it always running. I'm just gonna put the check here. And as soon as I start my Fortnite launch it, um, it's gonna automatically like minimize it in the background or close it so we get this memory here again like freed up. And yeah, we can just go through it a little bit. You can see here still series engine. I also don't need this. Uh, I got everything saved on my keyboard directly. So I don't need the still series engine free. And it takes up 52 megabytes of RAM, which is also quite high, to be honest. So we're just gonna select it. And you can simply select all the programs you don't need while playing. And yeah, if you maybe like don't wanna like um, um, deactivate them permanently. Wait. Yeah, and this is just a super cool option. Um, and this is just a super cool alternative if you don't wanna deactivate your programs permanently um, and just over the period of gaming. And yeah, you can select everything you wanna like yeah, turn down while gaming. This is super cool, guys. And we're pretty much done here with this step as well. And then under the last section, services, we can see that we also have tons of optimization options here for built-in Windows features again. I don't know, the connected user experience and telemetry service enabled. Um, this is all like super good for like Windows. I don't know, like Windows diagnostics when your PC is like trying to diagnose if something is wrong with your RAM, with your CPU and all these data, which Windows is just taking literally every second, you know, because like Windows always knows like um, how fast your CPU is or whatsoever. You can deactivate this diagnostics just to save up even more system power guys for gaming, which is also super cool. And yeah, I would just recommend you to leave it on the stock settings here. 16 out of 22 services will be optimized during boost. This is really good already. And now we can decide for ourselves. We can straight up click here on boost now and it's gonna deactivate everything. But I'm just too scared right now that it's gonna deactivate also my OBS while recording. So what are we going to do or what I would recommend you is always start it over the my library feature. You're just gonna click on play and it's gonna automatically boost it. And yeah guys, as you can see, my RAM is right now getting freed up on the bottom right of my screen. And yeah, Fortnite is launching. We successfully freed up, how much was it? 126 megabytes of RAM. And as you can see guys, after playing everything correctly, we only get between three to four milliseconds of input delay right now here in creative, which is crazy. Like before I always had like six to eight sometimes even, um, even with the built-in feature to reduce input delay, we couldn't really get anywhere like below six milliseconds, you know, even with some Windows tweaks. So this is actually crazy, these results. And with that said guys, if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible and please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.